Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to make a PowerPoint presentation interactive on Koala Go. So as you know if you use PowerPoint or this also applies to Google Slides when you present or have it in presentation mode you cannot drag and move around words or pictures. But let's take a look at how we can turn it into an interactive slide. So I'm just going to open a lesson that I created, just a simple one. I'm logged into my OneDrive because I'm using PowerPoint. If you're using Google Slides, you would want to log into your Google Drive. So when you first open your lesson, of course, it's going to be in this mode. I call this edit mode. This is what you would have it in when you're typing or adding pictures when you're creating your lesson. But when we present it to our students, we don't want it in this mode, especially if you have any type of animations or transitions that you like to use. You can't see those unless you're in presentation mode. So here I am with my student below me, and I'm going to click on my little present button. And of course, here it starts me at the beginning. I would, of course, start it here at my hello slide. So my student and I can both see the same thing. So we're both on the same slide. I am going to keep the control, the mouse control, which is down here on just me because I don't want my student changing the slides on me. But the great thing about Koala Go is even if I turn off the mouse control, the student can still use the pen, which is awesome because when I'm doing PowerPoint, I like to have my students draw or circle to show their understanding or write. And they can do that without me having to worry about them accidentally changing the slides. They don't need that much power and that much control, which is awesome. So I control the slides. Let's say I'm going through my lesson here. We're learning our new vocabulary words. We have brother, brothers. And then we have sister, sisters. Of course, I would do a lot more with these slides. But then I get to this slide. This is my interactive slide. Of course, I could turn this into an activity. So I could close this and have the words and the pictures and the student can drag, of course. But I have a little trick that I could just do it directly in the PowerPoint without having to make a separate activity. So I'm going to open this back up. So as you know, with PowerPoint, when you're in presentation mode, I cannot drag. If I try to drag my girls or my boys, it's not going to work. Can't work. But if I click escape, it takes me out of presentation mode. And now I'm in my edit mode again. When you're in edit mode, just like if you're creating a lesson, of course, you can drag things around and move them. Words are not as easy to drag because I can't drag in the middle. I have to drag on the box on the outside. And that's going to be too difficult probably for most of our students, especially the younger ones. So I'm focused more on dragging images because images, I can click anywhere on the image and it will drag perfectly fine. If you found a way to turn a text box into an image, then that would also work. If I can find an easy way to do that, I will definitely let you know. But for right now, I'm only having my students drag the pictures, not the words. So again, here's my slide, my student on their iPad. Right now, they don't have any control. So of course, for this activity, I would have to go to my control dropdown and click U and K. And then of course, I would explain to my student that I want them to drag all the sisters to under the word sisters and all my brothers under the word brothers. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like quickly here so they see the same thing as me. So I'm using my iPad, I'm not using my mouse, I'm not using the teacher's controls, I'm using the student controls. So here's my student, oh, sisters, sisters, brothers, and brothers. Yes, good job, K. And then of course I can give them a reward for doing a good job. So now I've taken something that's not really meant to be interactive and turning it into an interactive slide. So now that I'm done with this slide, of course I need to go back into my presentation mode for my next slide. But you do not want to click on this little presentation tool, present. See what happens when I click on this. It takes me back to 
the beginning. So I'm going to move ahead back to my slide. Okay, so here I am again. Pretend like I just completed the lesson. Now I want to click on, it might be on something different here. It might be on home. You want to click on slideshow and from current slide. Once you click on that, it'll stay there. So you don't have to click on it every time slideshow button, but then click on from current slide. And now it starts where I left off. I can take away control from my students so they don't accidentally click on the slide and I can complete my lesson. So of course you can still do your activities. You can still go back and forth very easily by clicking X and having your activities ready. But this is just a kind of a cool way to have everything all together in one place if you want to have a few interactive elements in there with your PowerPoint with your student. And again, that applies the same for using Google Slides. So I hope somebody finds this useful and try it out, see how it works with your students. Bye everyone.